The Center for Democracy and Development has trained about 220 Islamic religious leaders to help support the federal government's peace and building process and reconciliation efforts for repentant Boko Haram terrorists in the Northeast. This disclosure was made during the launch of the book Sulhu al Herini by the pro-democracy group which focused on the need for community leaders to help in the reconciliation and reintegration of ex-Boko Haram fighters. Based on the manual, there are good foundations for reconciliations and the community seems accepted these procedure, accepted these rules out or lay down rules as far the manual is concerned. And definitely, even in the beginning, it is the ulamas that give suggestions to the Center for Democracy and Development to come up with a manual which will serve as a guide for both the community or individuals that these insurgents happen to them and also the insurgents themselves, those who have surrendered to the government. How do they reconcile and come together for a living and peaceful coexistence in the next uh, life? The essence of this is just to restore East and peace back to the Northeast region through the building capacity of religion. If you know, if you see what is happening today, the enemy of the state, the Boko Haram member, they came with their own ideology through religious. And it, we consider it very necessary for us because there is a gap in religious in, the, in, in, in Africa. I will not say in the country entirely, in the Africa. When we started this Sulu initiative, mm. one of the most challenging issues that come up is the issue of uh, reintegrating the ex Boko Haram uh, uh, members who are now undergoing training in Operation Safe Corridor. Yes. Uh, people perceive it as if it has been imposed on the communities. Yes. The communities have been excluded in the process. Yes. Uh, and then uh, they consider it as a pet government paid project to the ex Boko Haram mm. uh, while neglecting the victims as well. So uh, it is part of uh, this issue that we consider that there is the need to uh, adopt a holistic approach to, the, to this initiative of reconciliation.